Joe Jonas is in even more trouble after filing for divorce from Sophie Turner. We recently talked about how Joe had been facing major backlash from the public and fans because of what had come out in the press from close sources to him in regards to the couple's split. People felt like Joe and his team were trying to make Sophie look bad, painting her out to look like an absent parent who had up and left Joe with their two daughters when in reality she was just working in the UK filming a new project. But once their divorce news hit the press, it seemed like every other day, sources close to him had a new statement to say that made made Sophie look worse and worse. But I'm telling you guys, fans were not falling for it. And I talked about it at the time that Joe just kept receiving so much backlash because people could not believe the things that he was letting come out about her. But now Sophie's side of the situation is being told after court documents were filed Thursday in New York by her to have her children return to England. And the most shocking statement to come from the document might just be the fact that Sophie claims she learned about Joe filing for divorce through the press. It's a crazy situation situation that only seems to get crazier and the court documents are detailing a very messy custody battle as the two can't seem to come to an agreement about where their children will be living. It sounds like the two of them had agreed upon something prior to their divorce, but now it's alleged Joe seems to have maybe changed his mind. NBC reported Thursday that actor Sophie Turner has sued pop star Joe Jonas for the return of their two young children to England, saying in the filing, Jonas will not turn over the kids its passports. They went into further detail of the current situation at hand, writing, The petition stated that the Game of Thrones star and Jonas Brothers singer made England their permanent home in April after much discussion and a desire to have the children attend school in England. They moved into a rental on a long-term basis in May and entered contracts to purchase a home in July with a plan to move there in December, the filing said. But the couple's relationship was apparently strained by complicated travel arrangements over the summer. They decided that as Turner's started filming a new drama series in the UK in May, the children would travel with Jonas and a nanny as he kicked off his tour with the Jonas Brothers in the United States in late July. Apparently, the plan was that the kids were going to stay with Joe and his family until Sophie finished filming, and then she would come back to New York in September to come get the girls and take them to the UK. But things have just become such a mess because of this divorce. Documents claim the two of them had an argument last month that led Joe to file for divorce at the beginning of this month, and in the papers, Sophie is claiming that she did in fact learn about him filing for divorce through the media, which if true is just horrible. A horrible way to find out that your husband has filed for divorce is through the press, that's for sure. And something crazy that people have pointed out was that the day before the news had hit the press that he had filed for divorce, he had posted a photo on Instagram wearing his wedding ring. And this photo came from the Jonas Brothers show the day before, which was one of the first shows that he had worn his ring at in a very long time, which people thought was to shut down rumors, but obviously not. So people were just like, was he wearing the ring? Because she didn't even know they were getting divorced. And then the next day, boom, blind side or what? What was the point of him wearing the ring at this one particular show? Was it to like tease her or you know, what was the deal? But I will say that Joe and his team are denying the fact that Sophie found out about the news through the media. They're claiming that she already knew about this before it hit the press. Who knows what the situation is, but that is what each side is saying. Now, it's important to note that when Joe filed for divorce, he did so in Florida. And at the time, he said that the children were residing in Florida with him for six months prior to the divorce, which according to the documents that Sophie filed in court, she's claiming that that is just not true. But since he filed in Florida, the state's law restricts both parents from relocating the children during the divorce process or at least until custody can be figured out. But things get a little complicated because the children have dual citizenship. And according to NBC, on September 17th, Turner and Jonas met to discuss their separation and Turner reiterated their agreement for the children to return to England that week. The petition stated that Jonas was in possession of the children's passports, but refused to hand them over and send them with Turner back to England. The petition was filed after Jonas allegedly refused to let the children go with their mother, which is a breach of the mother's rights of custody custody under English law, England being the children's habitual residence. The petition stated that the children who have dual citizenship are fully involved and integrated in daily life in England with the older child attending school and both involved in playdates and cultural
cultural activities. Turner has requested the return of her children to England, has submitted her application for return with the Central Authority for England and Wales, and says that she never consented or acquiesced to the removal of the children from England, the court documents said. The petition was filed through the Child Abduction Clauses of the Hague Convention, an international treaty adopted by more than 100 countries, including the U.S., which aims to compel the return of a child taken by their parent from their country of habitual residence. Now that Sophie is back from filming, she is in New York currently with the girls, and the situation is clearly just such a mess. Since all of this has come out, Joe Jonas's team has since put out a statement on his behalf to NBC, and him and his team are obviously not happy in the statement that they gave because obviously these court documents are talking about abduction, him, uh, you know, returning his children. So him and his team are trying to shut all of these things down. His team is saying that they hope Sophie reconsiders her harsh legal position and moves forward in a more constructive and private manner, which the private manner part is just so interesting given the fact that Joe and his team have been very loud in the press, which is the reason why he was getting a lot of backlash in the beginning when he first filed for divorce, because everyone just felt like, why is he making it so public? Why is he slashing her in the headlines? Like, what is this going on? But obviously now the tables have turned and Joe isn't looking too hot in the court documents that Sophie has filed, which are public record. And suddenly his team want privacy, privacy, privacy. The statement also claims that Joe and Sophie met last Sunday in New York to discuss how they were going to move forward with co-parenting and that Joe was under the impression that they had reached a mutual understanding. But less than 24 hours later, Sophie said that she wanted the children to permanently be moved to the UK. In a statement to NBC, Joe's team also said thereafter she demanded via this filing that Joe hand over the children's passports so that she could take them out of the country immediately. If he complies, Joe will be in violation of the Florida court order. The statement said Joe is seeking shared parenting with the kids and is, of course, also okay with the kids being raised both in the U.S. and the U.K. Joe's team is claiming that Sophie is making this abduction claim only to have the divorce play out in the UK and to have the children removed from the US and is denying all of that, saying that calling it an abduction is just misleading. Now, like I said, this whole thing is just crazy. And for two people who put out a joint statement on their Instagram saying that, you know, there are speculative narratives and that they're united in their decision, the things being said by them in the court documents seem to say otherwise. And it literally Literally could not be more of a mess and a loud public one at that for two people who wish privacy during this time in their Instagram statement. I mean, all eyes have certainly been on these two with a lot of people still feeling negatively about Joe in all of this. His Instagram comments reflect such as he's still getting tons of backlash daily for everything that's going on. Sophie, on the other hand, has been receiving a ton of love in all of this, especially after she was seen going to dinner with Taylor Swift this past week. People reacted to seeing both of Joe's exes hanging out, saying Sophie Turner staying quiet and classy throughout this whole thing, and then going out for Margs with Taylor Swift, dropping a lot lawsuit within 48 hours is the real queen's gambit. Sophie Turner had one dinner with Taylor Swift and is ready to blow up Joe Jonas's life. I love that so much for her. People have also just been showing her love in general, tweeting. So Sophie Turner found out about the divorce via the media and Jonas is withholding the kids' passports. No wonder his media blitz. What a piece of scum. The messiness is about to begin. So far, it's just been sloppy with Joe's team saying so many things, but now it looks like Sophie is gonna do this queen of the North style. Sophie is a queen. God, I wish nothing but the best for her in this whole situation. I could never hate her. She is iconic. Obviously, with anything, there's been critics coming her way as well. So she has faced some backlash, but for the most part, Joe has been the one that is receiving a ton of hate. Obviously, you know, he's a Jonas Brother. There are Jonas Brother fans that are still gonna love Joe no matter what. But a majority of his comment section have been defending Sophie and all of this. And as someone who loves Sophie Turner, but also is a Jonas Brothers fan, I really freaking hope that they can work this out peacefully, civilly, and quickly because it is just so messy at the moment. And I just feel like a ton of fans love them both so much. So to see this all play out is really sad. There's kids involved here. You never want a mess to be involved in a situation like this. So as of right now, that's what's been going on with these two. Let me know if you guys have been paying attention to what has been coming out about them, all that has been playing out in court and the statements that have been made on both sides. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.